In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make the mannequin work in a current version of the engine when it's not being supported for. So I just found out that if you go to Marketplace and you search for mannequin mobile, the current supported engine version for it goes only up to 4.21. And there's quite a few people asking to add compatibility to 4.22 and probably later. And as of today, it's almost end of July 2019 and version 4.22 was released on April 2nd. So it's been a few months and the Mannequin Mobile still hasn't been updated to be compatible with 4.22. So I've grown quite attached to using this Mannequin for scale and judging proportion. So in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to fix it and how to use the Mannequin in the newer versions of the engine for which it's not being supported for. So I already have this mannequin downloaded and it's in my vault section, ready to be added into any project. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project with version 4.22, for which the mannequin mobile isn't supported for. So I'm gonna go ahead, go to new project, select blueprint, and I'm gonna use the third person blueprint. This will give you a mannequin to use that is very similar to the Mannequin Mobile, except for it contains a higher vert count than the Mannequin Mobile, but it will still work the same way. So I'm gonna name the project and click Create. So back inside the launcher, here's our project, and I'm gonna go ahead, scroll down to my Vault section, find my Mannequin Mobile, and click on Add to Project. And here we don't have our project available to add it to because it's not supported. And if I click on show all projects, the project will pop up, but it will be grayed out. And here we'll tell you that asset is not compatible with 4.22. All right. So now inside this newly created project, I'm going to go ahead, start a new default level. And then inside the content browser, if you go to the mannequin folder, character, and inside the mesh folder, you'll have the SK mannequin that you can use instead of the UE4 mannequin mobile. And again, this mannequin folder was included because we added the third person game blueprint. Now this mannequin contains a higher vert count at 23,000, while the UE4 mannequin mobile has 7,000, but it will still work perfectly as a human reference scale. Also remember, you can always add the third person game blueprint template into any existing project by going to add new and at the very top, click on add feature or content pack, choose blueprint feature, select the third person and then add to project. So if you forgot to add it, you don't have to start a brand new project. You can just add it into an existing project. And very last, if you still want to use your UE4 mannequin mobile, you can easily do so by copying and pasting the UE4 Mannequin Mobile folder from an older project into the new UE4 project. So I know I've added the UE4 Mannequin Mobile into this project, my first project, version 4.21. So I'm gonna right click on this, show in folder, then go inside the content folder. And here's the folder for UE4 Mannequin Mobile that I've added. I'm gonna select this folder, Copy, Control C, then go into the new 4.22 project, right click, show in folder, then go inside the content folder of this project, and then paste the UE4 mannequin mobile folder right into this content folder. And then back inside the project, this folder will pop up. And now I can use the UE4 mannequin mobile in the new updated version of UE4 very easily and very quickly. So you can still use UE4 Mannequin Mobile even if it says it's not supported for your current version of UE4 with just a few additional steps. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please give it a like, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos, and visit worldoflevelldesign.com for more tutorials and exclusive content. And make sure to sign up to get free Unreal Engine 4 Beginner Quick Start Guide PDF. And this is a 150 page guide to help you quickly get started learning and using Unreal Engine 4.
It's completely free and you will see a link in the description box below this video or if you're watching this on the website, go to the sidebar and enter your name and email to get the free guide. And I'll see you in the next video.